Hi, I wanted to make a crochet tutorial video showing how to make a messy bun hat. Or you can make the top as big as you'd like just to, you know, if you have a lot of hair. But, um, I'll show you how to do that. But, um, this is just what I do with mine. I, I put bows on them or flowers to make them look cute. And I'll also show, because I'm going to make one with switching out the color for the band. I used a half double crochet stitch for this part and a single crochet stitch for the band. But, um, that's what I want to, I'll show you how it fits. Like that. Well, if I had my hair in a bun, it would do what it's supposed to do. And, because it's got a hole in the top for that, for the, um, messy bun. But, um, yeah. Okay, ignore my little writing. This is my kid's table. They use permanent marker on it. But um, I have right here an eye hook. It's an old hook. I've had this for years. For probably 11 or 12 years. But it's old. Anyways, I'm going to start off with a slip knot thing. Let me show you how to do that. It's kind of hard, but you put the little string over and then you get the long string, wrap it, and pull it through. That's the starting knot. And then you want to make a chain. A chain, the abbreviation for chain is CH on a pattern so if you see some some pattern that says chain or ch that means chain so i'm going to chain i'm going to chain big enough to make it fit around my messy bun i this is like more or less not really counting really because i have kids okay like Everybody knows that's not big enough. Everybody knows kids ask a lot of questions and while you're crocheting It's not ideal to be counting while your kids are asking y'all a bunch of questions I'm sorry for my funky hands. They're so dried and cracked because it's cold. I Think this would probably work for mine for my messy bun So I'm going to take it and make sure it doesn't get twisted just like that and then I'm going to connect it and how I connect it is I go in the first chain here first loop and then I'm going to get my big piece of string you know the one connected to the rest of the yarn <laughs> and then I'm going to pull it through both loops and then I've got my ring here and then I'm starting with a half double crochet, but I I really don't like to start with a chain two with a half double crochet because it just it looks like it leaves a big hole on for a seam going up. Now you can work in the round where you don't have a seam. I just I don't know. I like not working in the round because it's easier. You don't have to keep up with a stitch marker to keep marking your spot as you go. So I really don't like working in the round, but I'll show you. This is a half double crochet. I chained one. I'll just chain two to see how that goes. <laughs> but I really don't like chaining two on my half double crochets. A half double crochet looks like this. You wrap it once, and we're gonna find the first hole. Now you could put it at the top or bottom. Sometimes I go through the top, sometimes I go through the bottom one, but right now I'll go through the bottom one. And then you pull you pull through and then you have three loops on your hook then you want to work you can work over this if you want to try to hide it this um, tail but then you wrap it and you pull through all three loops right there and there you go there's your half double crochet and that is abbreviated HDC on a pattern so whenever you see a pattern that says that that's what it means oh my gosh i've got marker on me or mascara maybe <laughs> anyways um my hands aren't dirty i promise they're clean 
I promise that I wash my hands and stuff. <laughs> and then you just keep working the half double crochets all around. That might go a little quicker. But in case y'all haven't got it yet and you still, if you're new and you don't really know how to do it, I'll kind of go slow for you. You wrap, go in, pull through up pull through a loop and then you wrap again you pull through all three loops wrap go through pull through and then wrap around you pull through all three loops and then you just do that all the way around just one time in each little hole oh I can't stand them tails I like to work around them that way I don't have to deal with sewing sewing in and it's one less end that I have to sew in that's why I like to do that sorry I'm not trying to be boring y'all guys I'm just I'm very new to this whole video making thing and um I'm not sure how to do all the editing stuff <laughs> so don't laugh at me don't make fun of me I had to pull some yarn, but just keep going around. It's cold in this classroom. I'm freezing. And you just go all the way around now I'll show you how to join now I did good I didn't get it all twisted but if you do it ain't a big deal like like I do not like going back and <laughs> untwisting and all that so if it was twisted you would just like adjust it to make it look right I that's what I do I do it and my stuff turns out good turns out just fine because it gets aggravating like if it twist you can't get it straight now and some yarn is thin and it'll, it'll just twist up on you and you think you got it straight and it's not and see here is the last one and I'm gonna work in that one and then I'm going to join it you're gonna join to the first chain here now here is where you would probably either want to work in the round or and and use one of these or either not working around and I am telling y'all I don't like doing that I just don't so since I really I mean I guess that's fine I guess I, I'm okay with the chain two so I'll go ahead and chain two chain two and then now we're going to I really I don't count that chain as a as a double crochet I'm I just do things different than some people I guess but I just don't so I'm gonna work in these back loops you can work in all three of the loops this is the stitch I like to work in the stitch sometimes I like to work in these space the space would be right here underneath the stitch this is the stitch I hope y'all see that okay this is this is the space in between there that would be if you have seen on a um, on a pattern if it says to work in the space you're gonna work in the middle here you're going to work in these, but if it says to work in the stitch, you're going to work in this, in this little area here. That's a stitch. So I'm going to work in the stitch. So we're going to count one, two, and then we're going to put two in the next one. These are half double crochets like I already showed. I can show them. Oh no! I dropped my yarn. Give me just a second. I'm back. Stupid yarn. That's why I like to roll them up in a ball. That's what I like to do. And sometimes I just get lazy and I don't do it. Well, because I'm a mom and I'm busy. And then you count. One. Two. And then you go to the next one and you put two in there because this is an increase this is just increasing it now I know there's counting that that is involved but 
believe me, it is not as much counting as some patterns require. That stuff gets really tedious. But the thing is, you have, there's some patterns that you've just got to count. You've got to keep up with it or your stuff is going to look lopsided and funky. One, two, and then we're going to do two in this one. If you hear talking, that's my kids. They are loud. So I apologize. This is no professional video, okay? I'm just trying to teach y'all how to make a messy bun hat, like how I make them. I, I mean, I make them different ways, but this is the way I like because I really like a tight stitch and half double crochet is pretty tight it's it's warmer to me in my opinion a smaller stitch is just warmer because it's all smushed together two and then we're gonna do two in this one so we counted one and then one and then two but I like the smaller uh, stitch. I just do. I mean, I like making things more tight and especially for winter. You know, I live in Texas, so there's not really much of a winter, but I enjoy making stuff like for the winter time. <laughs> I really do. And whenever I do, I want my stuff to be warm, right? So, and, and a lot of stuff, sorry, a lot of stuff that you make can come out like really holy and to me I'm like what's the use it ain't warm <laughs> okay there's one two and then we're gonna do two I'm sorry if this is a boring video I hope it's not but I'm just walking y'all through this okay like I know some people like stop it and then start it and then stop it and start it I am telling y'all I ain't no pro, and I am not about to do that because I'm going to mess everything up, I'm telling you. If I stop this thing <laughs> and start a new video and then try to, like, connect it, I'm telling you, I will mess it up. Okay, you see, it looks a little bit decreased. I mean, increased, sorry. That's increased. And then we're going to join this to the top. This top chain right here, we're going to just put our hook in and then pull it through. Both. and then that's what it's going to look like so we're going to try to keep on increasing until it gets big enough that it would fit just like on the top of your head to where if you put this over your messy bun and it's big enough to where it goes on the top of your skull then we stop increasing because we know that's going to fit your head so um let me see I'm telling y'all guys, I don't have, I, I'm not going by a pattern. This is just what I do. This is what I do. And a lot of times I just do stuff. I just make it up as I go. Okay. I'm going to work in the next space. Remember, half double crochets. I was about to do a double crochet. And then we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to do another increase right here. We just want it to gradually get bigger. We don't want it to look like, like this. We just want it to gradually get bigger. Because sometimes if, if it looks like this, it gets real loose. Like it'll be really loose right here on the head. It won't be tight and snug. Or in my experience. So one, two, three. Oh, my hair. I'm sorry, y'all. I have a lot of hair. And I shed. Like a dog. <laughs> one. Two. Three. And then two in the next one. Why didn't I roll my yarn? Why didn't I roll it? 
Next time, I'm rolling my yarn, y'all guys. Because this is just ridiculous. So one, two, three, and then we're going to do two here. My second one. We're going to go all the way around like that. All the way around. I really like these Mussy Bun hacks because it's just convenient, you know. It's too cold to try to look all pretty and fix your hair all the time. <laughs> or that's how I feel. Mm. Did I count that right? Yes, I did. I cannot multitask. So, I'm talking right now and I'm trying to count. You see? It's difficult. And that's how it is with my kids. Whenever I'm crocheting, and of course, my kids, they're asking me questions. Like, that's what kids do. And so... I'm like, darn it, I didn't count my stitch right. <laughs> but, some, you know, sometimes, like, something like this, it's not a big deal. It's just not. One, two, three, four. It's not, like, precise, you know. And then on the fourth one, you do two. It's just not see my hair stuck in there see if you have a lot of hair like I do and like right now I'm running my hair down so okay y'all ignore my hair stuck in the yarn okay just ignore that all right I'll get out later one two three you're like man this girl is so lame she is so not pro at this no I'm not I admittedly am not I just I just wanted to make a video to show y'all how to make make this. If y'all, you know, if there's anybody out there who wants to make themselves something and they just don't know how to make it. Because it just makes it easier having somebody walk you through something. Ah, oh, these hairs of mine, they just, they're everywhere. It's driving me crazy. One. There's another one. Got it. Oh, no, I didn't. Two, three, and then four. And y'all, you know what? I know I'm boring. So if y'all gotta fast forward through this until you get to the next part, if y'all are quicker than me, because y'all may be quicker. Especially since I'm doing this on, on like through my camera thing, it's like, it makes me go way slower. I promise I'm a lot faster at crocheting than this. And if I'm not trying to pull all the hairs out of the yarn, that does not help it either. That's the fourth one, and you do two in the fourth one, then we should have like one, two, three, and then four. Two. Did I count that right? Yeah, that's four, and then we do two right here. And then what do we do? We join the first stitch, y'all. I'm I'm a teacher, like I teach my kids, so if you hear me like being like, okay, now what do we do? What do we do next? That's because that's how I talk to my kids. That's how they learn. They repeat it because you know repetitive stuff helps you retain information. <laughs> Anyways, okay, it's really, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's increasing, it's getting bigger. Now with this, I'm gonna chain two, and then I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do, let me see. We just did three. So we'll do four. We'll say, we'll go one, two, three, four, and then we want to put two in, and I don't have this, I do not have this pattern written down, because I just, I don't know, I just do it, I do whatever is working, and then sometimes, sometimes if it don't work, I have to undo it, 
yeah that's why I should write my patterns down so we we said one two three four and then we did two in one this is called an increase like I said one two three four and then we want to do two so two two in here on the fifth one one two three four Oh, this is like the most precise I've ever been. I think it's because I don't have my kids asking me lots of questions while I'm trying to do this. Okay, that's my kids. They're outside playing inside the carport. Making noises, like always. That's my house, I'm telling you. If you don't like noise, then don't come to my house because I have kids. One, hold on, we did one, two, three, four, and then five, and we're going to do two in the fifth one. See, my other son is grounded. He's in trouble, and he's in his room, and he's asking them out the window what they're doing outside. He's not supposed to be doing that. But since I am making a video, I ain't going to stop to tell him to quit talking to his brothers. Two, three, four. And then in the fifth one, we're gonna do two. I'm sorry if I'm boring y'all. I'm really sorry. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and then two and the fifth one. Two. Three. Four. My son thinks that my other son is building him a hoverboard. He just don't know <laughs> how impossible that is. My kids are crazy. Oh, stupid yarn. Next time, y'all. Next time, I promise I'll have it. I'll have it better. I'll make a better video than this for y'all. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And my son is calling for me. And I told him that I need for him to be quiet for a little while so that I can make this video. But you know kids, they have short attention spans. But he... He really needed to be in trouble because he was being so mean to his brothers. Four. And then the fifth one, we do two. Yeah, you hear my kids anyway, don't you? One. Two. Three. So, I'm at the end here of the fourth roll and what we were doing here was counting one two we're counting one two three four and then in the fifth one we we're doing two now there is some there's another um stitch left here there, that's not a big deal like i don't like counting i don't like doing all that I really don't. Counting is not my thing. I like counting stitches. See, now it is taking shape. It doesn't look like a hat, but it's taking shape. So then we're going to work in this stitch beside it. That way we don't have a big hole. Sorry. And we're going to we're going to go ahead and just work one stitch all the way around. No. Did I just do a double crochet? Yes, I did. Y'all, I'm sorry. We're going to do a half double crochet. Well, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I think I did. I'm sorry. One, two. No, we don't have to count them. 
And we, we just go all the way around. Somebody just called me and messed me up while I was busy. That's why I had to edit. Rude people. We go all the way around here. With one. Just one. Okay, I'm almost done with my fifth round here. And we go, we just finish it out. And you know, what I'm accomplishing here is doing the shape of the head. I know my son is talking, he's, he's in trouble, he's in his room. He's saying, he wants to get out. He shouldn't be back talking to his mom after you want to go out, huh? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna connect this. I'll show that again. Sorry, not that one. We're gonna connect it to this one right here. This top one here, and then this is what it looks like. And we're gonna do another round of increase now. Chain two. And then we're going to work in here in the stitch again, like what we were doing. Oh yeah, half double crochet. And we're going to count five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Five. And then we're going to do two in the sixth one. And we're going to do that all the way around. Count one, two, three, four, five. And then in the sixth one, you do two. Because it's still increasing. Okay, and I'll, I'll finish this out and... I'll be back whenever I'm ending this sixth roll. Okay, I'm almost done with my sixth roll here, where we were doing uh, five in you know each of the stitches, and then on the sixth one we do two for the increase. So wait, one, two, three, four, five. And somehow we're ending up with the extra stitch. Not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all with this pattern or whatever. Like I said, I'm not doing a pattern. I'm just making it to fit me. <laughs> okay. Now, whenever it... This is going to fit my head. I know it will. And then we're going to start just doing um, du ha um, half double crochets and each stitch all the way around. We're going to do that until we get to a point where it is big enough to fit on your head. And then we're going to take, I'm going to show you how to switch colors and do a band with this color. Yeah. So, I'll show you. I'm sure y'all get it now, by now. <laughs> but, in the next stitch, we're just going to half double crochet. Oops. And each stitch all the way around. Just one. And 
we're gonna do this several times. Also, um, if this is not big enough to fit on her head, um, you will want to do another increase round instead of just one uh, single half double crochet in each stitch. You'll want to count like one in the next six stitches and then two in the seventh stitch all the way around if you need it bigger. But this is pretty big. I mean, I know it'll fit my head. I like my hats to be kind of snug down. It's warmer, not all loose and stuff falling off my head. Okay, I'm finishing this sixth round right here with the single crochet, uh, with half double crochet in each stitch. And then we're going to put them together, put the ends together with a slip stitch, and then chain two. And like I said, again, we're going to keep working around. Um, just half double crochet in each stitch and I would probably do it till it's about this big that would probably be about three to four rounds just you know just big enough to where it's not too big for you to go ahead and make your um switch your color for the band so I'll continue to work single crochets in each stitch for the next. And some people don't work in this very next stitch. I do. I don't like skipping it because it makes a big hole. And I don't like my hats to be drafty. I like to be warm. That's what hats are for, right? But anyways, you go in each one. A half double crochet in each one all the way around. You're just going to keep working on for the next maybe three or four rounds. I'll meet back here whenever I'm at the end of this round. Okay, I finished my last roll and I am already starting up on my next one here. And I messed up. <laughs> there's a gap. See, I told you, if I skip this stitch right here, there's a gap. I don't like holes in my hats. <laughs> but, um, this is the eighth row. Which, who's counting? No. <laughs> I hate counting rows. I don't like counting stitches and I don't like counting rows because I got kids and I got, you know, they ask questions and it gets me all confused. But, anyways... This is the 8th roll. <laughs> I am keeping count of it. And then, um, see this is what the seam sort of looks like. It, the seam never bothers me. Might bother some people. I can show you real quick on this row how to work in the round. Let me go ahead and take it back and I'll show you that. Instead of going ahead and, um, and uh, slip stitching and making it like I just showed you like that. We'll go ahead and we'll, well what you do is you just start doing your half double crochets up that way. Now, it's going to leave a hole right there. Believe me, I can't stand that stuff. I don't like it. It's a pet peeve. But you just keep working around and around. You do the same thing. Just half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. And whenever you get here... It just goes up through there and you just continue to work the half double crochets up through there and around and around and around. But you want to use a, slitch, a slip stitch or a stitch marker. I'm sorry. You want to use a stitch marker. Even if you don't have... Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. Ignore the mess. This is my classroom. My kids came in here and destroyed it. This is a stitch marker. And... They're not expensive, they're really cheap, but, um, or you can take a piece of yarn, cut a piece of yarn, and then just, I'll show you how to do that with my handy dandy scissors, but you take wherever you left off here, which will probably be right here, this will be the stitch that I would say, and then you're gonna, this, you could use a slip, uh, a stitch marker like that. But I would not continue in the round after I've had, you know, a seam here. 
um, I would, if, if I was going to do a round and continue in the round, it would be from the beginning. And I really just, like I said, I don't like working in the round like that. I just don't. I like working in like you, you do a split stitch and then you just, you keep going up and up. But I don't need this because I'm not working in the round. Anyway, just wanted to show you all that. Oh my gosh, I'm freezing. But anyways, we'll slip stitch here, chain two, and then we'll just keep on working. Like one in every stitch here. And then I'll meet you back here whenever I'm done with this one. Okay, I'm done with round eight. I think it's round eight. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait. Nine. Roll nine? Was I off? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. Roll nine. Okay, y'all guys. What we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to switch for our band. I'm going to I'm I'm going to tie this off. Now I like to tighten it. I like to fasten it with this lip stitch like that because so it won't um get loose and stuff like that. Like whenever people wash it. I know I wash my stuff, but I make sure that I fasten my stuff real good. Now <laughs> I'm going to switch to another color and to another size. I usually like to work with a bigger hook, but um, with this, I'm going to go to a, a smaller size. I was using an eye hook, and now I'm going to use a, a G hook. This is 4.25. I'm going to, because it's going to tighten it up and make the band smaller, because we want the band to be smaller. Now this is what I do. I go ahead and I start with a slip knot thing here, like how I showed you in the beginning. I'm going to like twist and then take that and make a, a little loop. And then I will just work in this side right here. Ah, such a tiny hook. Pull through, tighten it, and then I'll work over these ends here so that it'll look, you know, decent. We don't want ends hanging out. Chain two? No, we don't want to chain two. Sorry. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm a little bit chilly. For some reason, I'm freezing. And then we're just going to... We did half double crochet, so we're going to do single, uh, single crochets. And a single crochet is you just put your hook in. And you pull up a loop. And then you have two. And then you just wrap and then you pull through those loops. Put through... Put it through the stitch, you pull up a loop, and then you wrap around, and then you pull through both loops. And then you will continue around. And this, this is probably going to be, ah, sorry. I don't like little, um, hooks. I really like large hooks, and that's the reason. Because they're hard to work with. They get stuck. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we, um, we're just going to go one through each stitch. And we're going to do that several times to make the band. It's going to be a tight band. But it's because this part's so big. So if you want, whenever you're making this, Whenever you're following with me, if you want, you can go ahead and I'll make a note at the beginning. That way y'all will know 
to go ahead and don't go with the eye hook. Go with a smaller hook, not this small, because this is the band hook. You want to go with a hook that's like <clears throat> a little bit smaller. I don't have all my hooks with me, but you want to go with a hook that's smaller. And I have a lot of hooks. <laughs> I just didn't bring them all in here with me. Go with a smaller hook <laughs> to make it smaller. Because the smaller the hook you use, the smaller the hat is going to turn out. But, ah, no. Do you see how annoying this is? Yes, it is annoying. <laughs> you wrap and then you pull through and then you wrap and you pull through these two. Put in the, the hole, the stitch, and then you wrap and then you pull through and then you're going to wrap and you're going to pull through those two. So you, you're going to do it all the way around. Okay, I finished my, this would be the tenth roll to make the band. We're making the band now. And I'm going to slip stitch in the first thing right there to close it off. And we're going to chain one. <clears throat> and we're going to continue this probably like four or five times. Like as big as you want it. I, I will want mine probably about this big. As big as you want. Okay, so I've now done three on the band. This is gonna take a bunch, probably like six or seven. So I'll probably do three to four more of these, maybe five or six. I don't know. It just depends on how big I want the band and you know how well it fits and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll be back whenever I get the band all finished. Okay, I finished this. I did eight of these with this little G-hook. I'm sorry, my kids are being loud. Or 4.25. Um, and then this was with the I-hook. And it turned out perfect, actually. But, um, see, these are the tails that I worked in. And I'll cut those off. Because. Ouch! Um, cut those tails off, and then with this, um, we're done, or I'm done with this, so I will, like, um, fix it to where there's like a, like you chain it, like chain one, sort of, but you tight, tighten it really good, and then cut it off. And then you have a tail here. You have to sew in the tail. That's what it looks like. Um, and if you don't like the way that looks, then you can turn it inside out and it has sort of a different texture and a different look to it. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want with it. And it fits. It fits my head. <laughs> but it might fit. It would definitely fit a bigger head snugly. And I like my hat snug. In fact, I could have made this smaller. And if you want to make it smaller, then go ahead and use a smaller hook. Like maybe a H hook for this part, and then still do an I uh, no I G hook for this for the um, band here, or even smaller if you want it smaller, you know. But this is what it looks like. I'm sorry, my camera is awful. <laughs> so it's done, and that's what the seam looks like. And I will be tying. Uh, sewing this in with a little my little bitty actually I have smaller ones that makes it easier my hair's there everywhere I'm sorry um there we go 
So I'm going to take it and I'm going to sew it in. Sorry, my children are being loud. They're playing. Okay. And then how you how you do it is you just shh. You sew it in. You hide it, basically. It's self-explanatory. Really. See? And then you just do like that. And that's... You know, and I like to go in, hold on, sorry, I'm not seeing it well on the camera. I like to go back through this way, except go, like, through here to, like, um, really hide it and make sure it's in there real good. And really, it might not work because my needle is fat, and I have some littler needles. Oh, no. Yeah, my needle's too big. But... I'll get my smaller needle and I'll use my smaller needle and go through it and put it through this area. I might go back down and put it through here and just to really hide it, just sew it in, you know? That's how I do my ends. And I might make another video showing how to make a bow and how to do like some flowers and then showing how to sew them on here just to add a little touch to it you know to make it look cute stylish but thanks for watching i hope it helped somebody you know i'm not a pro at this by any means but i wanted to teach somebody something that's easy you know because i know there's harder stuff out there and things are made more difficult than what they really are sometimes especially if you don't understand how to read the um the patterns i had a hard time whenever i first started teaching myself how to crochet oh i struggled really bad with patterns i don't i still don't really like patterns i don't like counting especially because i'm a mom um moms can't always count i like to stick with easy things to crochet that way i don't have to count but still it's inevitable if you want to make things with style and stuff you're going to have to count your stitches, you know, if you want to make stylish stuff, like I make, um, I make like, uh, shawls and ponchos. I'm sorry, my child is so loud. I'm sure you hear him blabbing in the background. Um, believe it or not, I have the door shut, <laughs> but, um, I make shawls and ponchos and I have to count sometimes, which is no big deal because it's only the first you know round or two and then i'm done like i just go with it i i like to do easy stuff like that because like i said i'm a mom and not only um do i need my focus on my kids um i just really if if, if you're doing something that involves counting you have to focus and if you can't focus you got kids around you can't focus you can't count the stitches you know so that's one reason why I like to keep it simple. And if I create my own stuff, um, I just make it to where it's stuff that has minimal counting involved. But thanks for watching and, you know, blessings to y'all.